right, I am back again at the corner. This is my fourth um, time in this series. So it's been a month now of checking out the corner that is right behind me here. Um, so let's see what has emerged since the last time uh, we were looking and I got, my, I got my camera and we'll see what creatively shows up. So you could see that a lot of kind of what was here before has been cut. So that's a rather um, dramatic difference. I find when I go and I visit these places, I get a little emotionally attached to what is around me, which I kind of think is the point to be connected with um, where I happen to be located. There's more than just me happening here. So, um, so yeah, so what that does is that's given us, um, let's see. What, what I like from this is a lot of the crisscrossings, like the lines. I start looking at lines. Actually, there's a triangle emerging there from the way these stems have fallen when they've been cut. Um, lines of the grass. Things like that are, are things I might pull from the fact that this has been uh, cut back this stuff here is really grown oh okay when a breeze comes up you can also get some interesting um when you do kind of like a freeze frame photo you're going to get some interesting movement things leaning in a particular way that was a brief breeze so here are some color differences right so we've got the pale 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 pink plus kind of the purpley pink emerging the texture of the fuzziness is always great the goldenrod has shifted um, color too so you've got the very bright vibrant yellow gold and then the emerging kind of coppery brown and also the new ones are still coming they're like a lemon yellow a really buttery lemon color here's one that's multi-phase things don't always show up at the same time it's all very much a process um, the leaves okay we're at that time of year where the leaves are getting holes and I personally love looking through these and taking pictures through them. It's like a, win the, a leaf window. You can see looking through the holes. So you can get some really cool um, shots of by treating these leaf holes like windows. And then of course they always have, sometimes I look closely at the edges. So I'm always looking for kind of geometry, line shape, these being very triangular. Um, again, we're looking down. Uh, oh, hey, I gotta get over here. This one's an even more like a lilac color. Um, and then, of course, all the different leaf shapes. There's a fern. So there's these, and then the star shapes on the goldenrod. Also very cool. Uh, if we move down here, we're back by the parking sign. And last time I was looking at the purple stems. And you could see they're still here. Um, it looks to me like some of the berries have fallen off, but the purple stems are very much here. Um, looking again at the edge, this is starting to happen. Some of this color, right? The fall colors and the way um, these are gonna contrast with the ground and the way their shapes are in there. So that's starting to emerge now too is some more of the browns. See, there's another one there. So things are starting to get yellow brown rather than green, green, green. So, um, and even we saw that with these leaves turning purpley, reddish purpley. So here we are at the corner. That is um, a lot for just one corner, I think, that could be inspiring. Um, we've all, I also talked about looking up. Right? I'm back here in the morning, so that part there has been lit. The sun is from that direction. That's my east. And if I came out here later in the day, it's going to move all the way over to over there, which is the other side of the road. Um, and then it's going to give a different type of light. And it's going to shine differently onto this corner. Oh, that was something I just saw. Depending on the time of day, you're going to get very cool shadow shapes on the pavement. 
So here's some that are coming up from the sun being in that particular angle. Midday, they get very sharp. And then, of course, they completely change when the sun moves across the sky. So I've been focusing on this corner, but what you can also see is that the corner is like we live in a you know immersive world. So it's not just this corner. There's looking down and then there's looking up. And then there's also going around. Sometimes I might even get the blue of that sky with the tree edge. And you can see the trees are now starting to be a little more green yellow rather than just green. Occasionally animals show up. And of course there's the shapes in the concrete. Sometimes you can see interesting shapes in this broken up road. And that's where we will end it today. And now some photos from today. Here are some potential art themes emerging from today's meeting at the corner. These are prompts for further creative exploration. Emotionally attached, immersive, leaf window, process, different stages, shadow shapes. You can also find a spot near you to apply the same process. Pick a place, any place, spend some time there, notice things, be inspired, repeat. And we'll see you in the same place next week.